cancer, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's disease. We keep getting closer to a cure for these diseases, but the big hurdle is money. The technology to observe living cells in greater detail is there, but it is so expensive that only a few labs can afford it. So most of the world's sharpest brains can't work on these medical mysteries because they can't afford cutting-edge technology. But an Indian scientist in Norway may change all that. Meet Balpreet Singh Aluwalia. Only in the last 10 years or last 15 years, when the field of optical nanoscopy really emerged, where now for the first time, we can actually see the structure smaller than 100 nanometer. Since 1800 centuries, it was an established fact that you cannot image structures smaller than 200 nanometers. You can see a cell, but you don't know what happened when virus go inside a cell. How does different parts of cell like mitochondria, Golgi body, and nucleus talk to each other? Cells are very complicated and we actually don't understand them. They have been studied for many years, but we don't really know how it works. Um, nanoscopy is uh, microscopy, just view things even smaller. The current nanoscope, which is a machine that can see even smaller than a standard microscope, is really expensive. So Aluwalia and his students are working on a technology that doesn't need a massive machine. When I joined this field, uh, the, the optical nanoscopes were very expensive. For example, one of this, which is on your back, cost 1 million euro. And it was very complex to operate because the technique worked on using a very complex microscope. What I proposed was a paradigm shift that instead of using a complex microscope, we want to use a complex photonic chip, which then can be mass produced and then use a simple standard microscope. Normal microscopy, you would use a glass slide for this. You just put the sample on a glass slide, you put the glass slide in your microscope and then you can take the image. In our case, we use this photonic chip. You can see this image here, it has a normal resolution. This is the resolution you would get in a normal microscope. So you can see there is a drastic improvement in the resolution. We can now see the really, really fine structures in the membrane of the cell here. You can even notice on some small, small pores here in the liver cell. So those pores, those are believed to filter uh, the blood from uh, unwanted uh, particles. Once Aluwalia's chip is on the market, research labs won't need to buy new microscopes. All they need is the chip. With more labs than ever working on the most devastating diseases, we're closer than ever to finding solutions.